This is a quick video about the Next.js app router fav icon. You can also see we have this fav icon here in the tab. And that's actually also coming from uh, within the app directory. So if you have a fav icon dot ICO or ICO file in your app directory, that will automatically become the fav icon, right? So you don't have to manually uh, specify that here. It will automatic automatically be picked up by Next.js. Now we're going to use a different one. So let's remove this one. And that gave me a brief error for some reason. And it's actually interesting that we get an error here because we are not importing fav icon ourselves anywhere so here's all you know sometimes you get these issues with next.js there's some things that are simply not working properly so sometimes let's when this happens i just uh you know i will just restart and see what happens so i'm gonna restart here i'm gonna run npm run dev again and let's see what happens all right so a bunch of stuff happening All right, so we get the same result. We still get this error. So usually what happens then is I start to think it's something with this cache that they have. So what you can do is this next folder, you can just delete the next folder and it will just be uh, recreated the next time you run the dev server. So it's not a big deal. I'm gonna delete everything here. And now we get this error. <laughs> we cannot, uh, yeah, we can't do this for some reason. My guess is because this server is running. So let's try that again, delete this folder. Yeah, so now that the folder is gone, so now we can try running the server again, npm run dev. And let's refresh here. You can see the next folder is automatically created again. All right, so now when we come back, we indeed uh, see that there's no error anymore. So it was probably something to do with the cache I'm not sure exactly how they're uh, handling this. Uh, that's usually, yeah, this is the real world, right? You're going to run into errors and this is how I would solve the error. Just restart the server, try removing this next folder because they do some kind of caching there. And, you know, eventually if that, if that didn't solve it, I would have to stop the video and start really Googling or something. Usually, you know, other people have the same problem. So usually there's going to be uh, so, some solution out there. So then here I'm going to open up this uh, sidebar and I'm going to click and drag this here in the app folder. Right, and then I'll just change the name into fav icon. Right, so Next.js will automatically pick this up and make this the fav icon. Now I've noticed that during development that actually doesn't work so smoothly, but when we will de deploy it to for sale and make it live on the internet, it works. So you may actually not see anything here during development, or maybe when you remove the cache here and try again, but uh, we'll leave it like this for now. Right, so make sure you have that file here in your app folder. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.